today we're going to be showing how to remove a fuse out of TE Corecom's power entry module single fuse holder. What you need for this is a small precision flathead screwdriver, a 3AG which is a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch fuse or a 5 by 20 millimeter fuse and of course your P-series power entry module. So to remove this fuse holder uh, that the lip of the cover, there's a couple slots. Just take your flathead screwdriver and pry one of those slots up, lift up the cover. There's also another slot beneath the lip of the fuse holder. So just pry that up. It should come right out. You'll notice you have two sources. You have 115 volts and you also have 230 volts. On your line of sight at 115 volts, if you're going to use that source, make sure uh, your fuse goes in to the right side looking down. That's your hot side. If you're going to use a 230 volts, use your right side again when looking down at 230 volts. Or you could use both. And that will be determined by your conversion clip on the opposite side of which you put your fuse in. That's just removable. Because of this conversion clip, it will only go in one way. So just remove the fuse with your flathead screwdriver. Pretty simple to replace. As I mentioned, this only goes in one way. And for this demonstration, we're doing 115 volts. So this would be the proper way, as you can see. If we turn it around on the 230 volt, putting the fuse on the wrong spot, because that conversion clip, it will not go in. So, and you just put it in the proper way. There you have it, 115 volt is your line of sight. So you can see, once you know your power source, it's easy to replace the fuse for your TE Corecom's power entry module. Thanks for watching.